You are listening to part one of a Barefoot Lawyer Reports episode on Chen Guangcheng, the Barefoot Lawyer's Escape from Communist China. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Barefoot Lawyer Reports podcast. My name is Will Dethridge, the producer, and joining me as always is Chen Guangcheng. Hello, my friend. I'm glad to see you again here. Now, throughout the series, we've frequently mentioned Chen Guangcheng's amazing and miraculous escape from Chinese Communist Party. You know, he was imprisoned for several years under house arrest. He was being punished for releasing a few hundred page document that exposed forced abortions that were justified by the one child policy by the communist party. And Guangcheng, it's just incredibly remarkable because could you talk about what it was like being imprisoned? Like how intense was security around your house when they put you under house arrest? Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you, Will. Yeah, in fact, before I was uh, released back home, uh, some uh, police in the prison told me, if you came back home, the situation will be much worse than here. Mm. So this was when you were in prison, they were telling you? Yeah, almost uh, released. Yeah. The, yeah, the person told me. Yeah, how many years were you? It was... Prison more than four years and three months. Yeah. Yeah, in, in black jail, three months. Hot arrested together almost seven years. Seven years, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then when the time uh, arrived, you know, the Khan party just asked the police to take me back home. Right. And the Khan party ordered the guard to uh, surveillance our whole village. Right. And my home uh, became a jail now. Right. So then I'm thinking how to escape. Mm-hmm. And this got a lot with my wife and my mom. They said more than, uh, uh, more than a uh, hundred eyes watch you. Right. How you can escape? It's a lot yeah. of guards. Yeah, you, mm-hmm. yeah, a lot of guards surround our village from inside to outside. So April 20, 2012, you know, in the morning, the guards in our yard stand up to get some tea. My wife grabbed my hand. They said, go. You know, in our yard, uh, east is a, a, a room and uh, north is a room. Between them, we have some uh, place I can hide in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after a few uh, seconds, the guard came back, but they, they, they can't see me. Uh, from there, I uh, begin my escape. Mm-hmm. I climbed the first wall and come to my neighbor's yard. Wow. Before they have a dog. Yeah, any voice, the, the, the dog will bah, 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 yeah. to remind the guard. So at that time, just uh, the dog not there. All so, right. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I, I'm coming my neighbor's yard and across their yard and, uh, and climb to his, uh, his uh, roof. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking how to come down. You know that more than uh, that more than twelve feet high. Yeah, yeah. How to come down? I just thinking. You know, my neighbor came back. I I heard she opened the gate. Mm-hmm. He, uh, of course, the neighbor, the company gave the money to the my neighbors to help them to watch us. Yeah. If she found me, she will. She'll report you. Yeah, I report to the company. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I have to come to the roof and lying down on that so she can see me. Yeah. And my wife come to my roof and try to take something to give to the chicken, the food for chicken. Mm-hmm. She asked me, go quick. Mm-hmm. I, I just use my hand to like this. To, to ask her where is the tree. Yeah, you motioned to her, yeah, where is the tree? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, from the roof, a roof, I can use the tree to come down. Right, but yeah. But I try, tried to, to, to fill the tree, but so, I have more than uh, f- uh, four feet, I can't touch it. Right, it was too I far have, away. Yeah, too far away. I have to use a hand to hold the roof, uh, the side, and let my uh, body uh, drop. Yeah, drop. Yeah, you just I tried to use my hand to hold the whole the wall and 
to break your fall, but it didn't. You just you just kind of fell, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I tried to come to the ground, so I dropped down the uh, ground. So you in my second neighbor's yard have three uh, pig house. I have to come in one pig house close me and hide it, and I can hear the guard eighteen feet ago away. Talk, yeah, yeah, uh, fitting away the talk. Yeah. I can listen to. So I, I climb different wall to close the five walls. You say it was five walls? Yeah, all together I climb eight walls wow. at that time. So when I climb the five walls, because a lot of stone on the ground, when I jump to another side, so it hurt my, yeah. my right foot. Yeah. Three bones broken oh, my man. foot. So yeah. My foot very hurt and swollen immediately. So, yeah, the, I I lying down the ground. I'm so sad. I oh, I think I'm lost my sight. And now I lost the one foot. How yeah. I can go to escape? Yeah. But yeah. I know I can't come back. I have to go ahead to get free. Yes, yes. So then, at that time, you know, it's raining, small raining. You know, a little bit of rain, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of raining, but immediately the rain is stop. Mm. I heard the guard take the chair to the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and put the chair on the street and sit down there. I said, "Oh, I lost my opportunity." To yeah, yeah. To across the to cross street. The street, yeah. Yeah. So now the guard. Uh, sit there and watch the street. Yeah, but after 20 minutes, the rain start again. And uh, you know, the rain uh, drop to the leaves and make a noise to, to close my noise. If I yeah, walk. Well, yeah, it hide, yeah, it was yeah. noisy enough to yeah, no, hide but, any noise you would make. Yeah. Yes, yes. When, you know, when the, uh, it's raining, I heard the guard take a chair, go to another where and throw the chair on the uh, another place ground, and on another place, yes, and sit down there. I, I think, oh, opportunity came back. Yep. So I think that is the guard use that way to let me know a hundred percent opportunity. Right. Now is the best. Go ahead. So I use my hand and my knee on the floor to to across that. So street. you crawled across the street. Yeah, yeah. cross the. Yeah, cross, and uh, yeah, of course, uh, my foot hurt. I have yeah. to cross across uh, a stream and uh, across one river, arrive in my neighboring village. Gotcha. Uh, you know, my knee and, and then my hand and my elbow uh, broken. So take, that took me more than 20 hours. Wow. I tried to find my, uh, my friend, you know, when the first abortion happened, I helped her and then she took me in the small room and I had him there. You've been listening to part one of a Barefoot Lawyer Reports episode on Chen Guangcheng, the Barefoot Lawyer's Escape from Communist China. Check back next week for part two.